What's up guys, Admiral Stiles here. In today's video we are checking out a TMP IRL constitution class with Borg weapons. So I guess you can see the ship came from a scenario where Starfleet found Borg tech and they decided to use some of it in their ships. Alright so I chose to go up against four Klingon ships, I figured this ship with Borg weapons should be able to take it on right? Well we're gonna find out. Uh, so the torpedoes that the ship is equipped with, they are uh, shield drainers. They don't actually do any damage besides drain shields, as you're about to see. There you go, we drained all of the shields equally. And I like the sound of that, uh, that sound right there. That sounds so good. I like hearing that sound. That's the Borg phaser, I guess. Damn, that sounds good. <laughs> Alright, so so far we are holding our ground, but we're not really winning yet. Alright, this thing can definitely take a beating, I'll tell you that much. So far it's holding its own really well. Okay, I finally see progress. Uh, the Emperor class is taking damage. The ship we are targeting is also uh, starting to take significant damage. But that Emperor just got clobbered. Alright, I do feel that the battle has gone a little, uh, I, I'm not gonna say slow, but the ship isn't really designed to be like an alpha striker, you know, a ship that does a lot of damage quickly. It's more of one that hangs out and fights a uh, drawn out battle. Kind of like what the Galaxy class is, like that ship can hang in a fight for a while, but it doesn't do, it doesn't produce the, the same amount of damage as a Defiant, uh, can in seconds. Alright, so we have half of the Klingons are done. We have just two more to go. It shouldn't take too long, I think. Those shield draining torpedoes are uh, super useful. There you go, and just like that, we took out all of their shields. I think for the next battle after this, I'll do uh, 2k Tingas. So those have a lot of alpha power. Alpha power meaning uh, their initial volley, their initial strike does a lot of damage. I'm just firing the torpedoes out of habit, I know they're not going to really do anything at this point since the enemy shields are gone. I guess they'll keep them down. Alright, final target. Let's turn off secondary targeting. I suppose I should fire the torpedoes before firing the phasers. Ah, oh, and I missed. Ah, oh, we lost the port in a cell. Kind of, I see a little piece somehow still following the ship. <laughs> okay, let's not kill them. Or kill ourselves, I mean. <laughs> we almost rammed them. I managed to save the ship with uh, some weird piloting skills. Or some epic piloting skill, I should say. Alright, so that's that. We won the battle, 1 versus 4. Alright, so we're gonna try two Katingas from the DS9 era. Alright, let's see how we do against these two Katingas. So in terms of uh, outcome, I feel like we're gonna win. But we're just gonna see with how much damage, uh, how much damage I take. That's pretty much what I'm gonna look at here. Yeah, with us draining their shields, uh, once their shields are down, these kit singles are actually pretty weak. Just because the just the standard uh, targeting point is right at the center of the back of their neck. So it doesn't take much to disable these ships. I 
I'm never gonna get over that uh, Borg phaser sound. Yeah, they just sound so good. It's just one. Uh, there's one phaser uh, array that goes around the saucer that fires that Borg phaser. Wow, we've caused so much damage on that ship already. Our shields are actually holding up better than I thought they would. Just because these ships have uh, such a high alpha damage. I know the disruptors cause significant damage. The torpedoes not so much. It's the disruptors that concern me. Probably conduct a scan of the area and see if we can detect any residual traces. I'm just waiting for that Borg phaser. There we go. <laughs> yeah, I'm just obsessed with that sound. See, I keep firing those torpedoes out of habit, even though they just don't do anything once enemy shields are down. I haven't really talked about the model design either. The nacelles, uh, I don't know how I feel about them. I don't like the Bussard Collector. The double bubble, I guess you can call it, it just doesn't look right to me. And the uh, nacelles are a bit too thick. But I don't know, maybe that's just part of the Borg tech. I don't know, maybe they have uh, transwarp drive. And uh, the rest of the ship looks great though. I don't mind those extra impulse engines embedded in the saucer and the deflector dish looks pretty cool too. Alright just a few more shots and we got them. Let's throw some torpedoes at them, why not? Ah, uh, almost have them. There we go. All right, that was a lot of fun, actually. That's it. it was interesting to explore the ship with its uh, Borg weapons. All right, guys, that'll be it for this video. It was a lot of fun. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm Admiral Styles. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. And if you're having a bad day, make it a good one. That's in order. All right, guys, I'll see you on the next video. Admiral Styles out.